Oh, well, uh, Apple is in trouble, but like, not all do we. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy freaking hump day. It is Wednesday, our favorite day of the week. Day of humping. Uh, real quick, just saw a bunch of comments in yesterday's episode. First of all, yes, we're back. Hello. Uh, but we saw some comments yesterday being like, where's the new look? I thought in January you guys were changing the look of the show. That is true. Every season of Front Page Tech, we changed the look, the style of the show. Uh, but we never said January 1st. It happens January 14th. That is Front Page Tech's birthday. That is when this season ends and the new one begins. Happens every single year. Now you know. There's a date. Now. Can we stop commenting? Ah. Uh. I made it worse. You guys are going to comment more now. Where's the new look, John? Shh. Hush, child. Patience. All right. So story numero uno is about the FCC. The FCC government shutdown and government shutdown making the FCC do a thing or not do a thing, actually. According to the FCC, because of the partial, partial? That's not a word. What the fuck? Because of the partial U.S. government shutdown that is happening, uh, most of their operations will likely be suspended. So if things aren't fixed tomorrow, Thursday, then all operations will cease as of midday, according to the FCC. Uh, that's too bad. I mean, just look at him. Look at little Ace Pie. Look at his little stupid face. Don't you just feel bad for him? It's gonna be shut down. It isn't that a shame? Ah, uh, yes, there is a god. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I like to believe that when the FCC shuts down or ceases operations, that Agent Pi just doesn't even exist. He just poof, vanishes off of the universe. Give us a break from his existence. Just take him away for a second. Listen, I don't want him to be dead. <laughs> all right, let's not kill him. I just want him to go away. That's all. Just vanish. Doesn't exist for a temporary period of time. Listen, sir, you will not be the villain in my movie until the government comes back. You know, on this show, it seems that we never really get to talk about just some good old wholesome fun. Just a good heartwarming story. That changes uh, now, today. The nine-year-old army is strong today. Two hackers have teamed up for the force of justice uh, and have inmate TVs display a message that encouraged people to subscribe to poods. That's right. They hacked devices from all over Chromecasts and Google Homes to help spread the good word. For why, you ask? <laughs> because fuck T-Series. So you know what? To Hacker Giraffe and uh, the other guy that helped. Thank you. Very cool. All right. Now let's talk about Apple. Uh, what a roller coaster of a fucking day. So earlier today, Apple did something pretty crazy. They halted trading until they gave some sort of announcement. They said there was a pending announcement coming. And then the announcement came and it was uh, uh, not good. So effectively what happened here was Apple came out and lowered their revenue guidance because of weak iPhone sales in China. Now there's more to this story. Now real quick, I'm just gonna be honest. When they halted shares for a pending announcement, I was like, what the, what is gonna happen? Is Tim Cook die? Did he die? Is he dead? Is that what we're about to hear? Uh, is Steve coming back? Steve Jobs is back! But nope, just expect to make less money, everybody. So stock for Apple has been just just going down over the last couple months, just real bad. And it's for a lot of reasons. It started with uh, just reporting on tech news blogs about awful demand for iPhones and they're doomed and it's all bad, so then the stock went Pfft. But then other stuff happened, like uh, tensions between the US and China in terms of trade. And listen, there's a bunch of different reasons and today was a very crucial thing from Tim Cook. So because of all that, because stock is already going down and they've had a rough time, it was like <laughs> Apple halted shares to be like, all right, listen, Listen, we're gonna release a letter and the letter's not good. It'd be real great if everyone didn't freak out. So real quick, and we don't usually do this, but I'm gonna analyze this video for you real quick. Uh, it's an exclusive interview that happened today between Tim Cook and CNBC. In this video, he talks about what's going on, why this is happening, why they think it's happening. It's just it, it, excuses. The excuses are what you're about to see. If you look at our results, uh, our shortfall is uh, over 100% from iPhone, and it's primarily in greater China. And so as we look at what's going on in China, the 
it's clear that the economy began to slow there for the second half. Okay, so here's the issue. He's trying to just put this all on China and like not scare investors. Like, oh, it's fine everywhere else. There's just an issue with China. It's not even our fault, really. But here's the deal. Uh, Timmy, we need to admit the actual issue here. It's not that the iPhones are even bad. The smartphone market as a whole is declining. And you need to admit that. And you need to admit that to investors. We can't keep making excuses. Like, it's just going to keep getting worse. Things are going to keep declining. Don't blame it all on China. And then sort of in, a, in addition to those two things, we've started a program worldwide uh, where we dramatically lowered the battery replacement price. Oh, come on, Tim. Everything's gone to shit now because the battery, you, you replace batteries now and it's cheaper. Okay, okay, all right. Here's the here's the real issue. Despite the articles today and all the tweets about how this is really not good, Apple is doomed. Never saw this before. This is crazy. People pointing blame at the iPhone XR and like just, it's all like, it's it, nonsense is what it is, people. Nonsense. So yes, there is a problem at Apple, but most likely it's not what you think it is. And t they're handling it so bad right now. Tim, dude, stop making excuses. You need to stop telling investors why stuff's going to shit and just tell them what you're going to do next. And it's very clear what you're doing next. The issue is that the smartphone market as a whole is declining. Not just Apple. Everybody. It's all declining. And why, you ask? Because smartphones are getting really fucking good. In fact, I did a video last year sometime called Apple is a victim of their own success and it was about quarterly earnings. And it is even more true now. Apple is a victim of their own success. They're making iPhones that last years and years and years, not just the hardware, but they're also supporting those software wise for years and years. People don't need to upgrade every single year. That's just not how it works. But Tim Cook won't admit that public. We all know the issue, Tim. So just say it. You can't keep selling iPhones that are meant to last and then be completely shocked when people don't upgrade the next year. We already know that Apple is shifting to services. I mean, if you look at their previous quarterly earnings, we can see that services is growing a lot, like a lot. They're starting to make a ton, a ton of money from services. And this is a big reason why Apple announced that they're going to stop giving us unit sales, like individual unit sales of products. Because honestly, people, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, even though people freak out all the time, all the investors need is money. They don't care how many units were sold, they just need more money. They need Apple to make more money no matter where it comes from. So now it's time for Apple to think of what comes next. What comes after iPhone? There are so, so many people with iPhones in their pockets. It's now time to shift focus to those people. Stop trying to sell iPhones. Of course, you're always going to sell iPhones, but stop making that the absolute end-all be-all priority. Start selling to people that already have the iPhones. That's where the services come into play. Sell to the people that already have those devices in their pockets. Apple has always taken advantage of their massive market share, but now it's time to lean way far into that. So, Timmy, my boy, let's be honest with ourselves here, okay? Let's stop making excuses for why things are the way that they are. You can't make excuses. You can't make Apple-like excuses that explain away issues with the market as a whole. What are you going to do next? That matters to your investors, to us publicly. That is the part that matters. Stop giving excuses. Just tell us what you're doing next, man. Just tell us what you're doing next. And for everyone that thinks Apple is doomed, shut your fucking face. No, they aren't. They're not ripping us off and scamming us with hardware. And then, oh, the hardware, it's all a scam. It's all, they're ripping us off. And now they're finally eating their own shit. This, ah, you deserve it. Shut up. Shh, shh, shh. Shut up. Everything's going to be fine. In fact, you want my advice? Buy Apple stock. And now, today's sponsor. Hey, buddy. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but it's 2018. And if you're trying to build an online presence for yourself, but don't have your own website, you are doing it wrong. But do not fret, my lovely. Bookmark is here to help. With literally the most intuitive website builder I have ever seen, Bookmark can have a professional or e-commerce ready website built for you in less than two minutes. And it does all of this with Ada, your artificial intelligence design assistant, all without having to write a single line of code yourself. Ada can easily create optimized websites for over 750 business types. And other than creating gorgeous websites all day, 
day, Bookmark has your back even after your site is built. You don't need to know anything about coding and you certainly do not need to spend a fortune on some designer somewhere. If you're ready to work smart and not hard, check out the link for Bookmark today down in the description. Get started. And of course, huge thanks to Bookmark for supporting our show. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.